Wobble Bobble Boo! Hello guys and welcome back to another figure review. Now today I am going to be reviewing the DC Multiverse um, Justice League Cyborg figure. It's awesome. Um, now I can't show you all the packaging on the back, it just has a few pictures of the thing. I'm sure everyone knows what this looks like now. Um, let's dive into right, the actual guys, So as you can see, this already looks like an awesome figure. Um, obviously, Amber bought me this for Christmas. It was my Christmas present from Amber, which it's just it's an it's an awesome figure. It's gorgeous. I love it. Um, just the detail that's been gone into the sculpting. Obviously, you have his half a face. It does look a lot like the actor that plays him, which I forgot the name of the actor, but it does look a lot like him. Obviously, on the back you do have like this um, very alien kind of technological suit. It looks like something out of Mass Effect, to be honest. Um, and obviously you do have this like tinfoil kind of like bang together kind of suit that looks like it's been moulded by hand um, you do have like the red little thing which is luminous in the film obviously if you've not seen the Justice League film definitely go check it out it's an awesome film even though a lot of people don't like it moving down the sculpting is exactly the same basically you have his little feet that do look like foxes from Five Nights at Freddy's a little bit but they do also look like really like what, new Nike shoes um, <laughs> Nike Max, and obviously you do have like this little bit on the back of his leg there, but other than that, that's about it for the detail of the figure. I do love the detail of the figure, I think it's awesome, and I, oh, it's just awesome, I love it. Um, but I don't actually know what other detail to go into, there's not much detail, I think that you can just, you can see the detail, and if you like the detail, if you are one for detail on figures, this is definitely a figure to pick up for yourself. Obviously, just, just looking at that, like, how can you not like that detail? Yeah, uh, anyway, let's go into articulation. So, first of all, for articulation, his head, it moves slightly, but it also moves up and down. It is a little bit like that. Uh, his arm does the full 360. It is also on a ball joint, so it can go out, but it tends to be hinged by the shoulder. If you want it to go out, you're best off putting it backwards and then extending it like this, um, which, yeah. Uh, obviously, that leads me straight into the arms. Obviously, he does do 360 at the bicep, um, and he can also do 360 at the shoulder as well, which I have just shown you. He then can also do 360 at the wrist, um, and I don't know if there's any articulation in his hand. I don't think there is any articulation in his hand. I think it's just stationary, but it's got hinges on it to make it look like it moves. Um, anyway, moving down, we have 360 at the waist which you guys can see there. He can kick forward, he can kick backwards, I believe. No, he can't kick backwards. He can just go forwards. Um, he can do the splits, like that, which is good, perfect fighting. He can do 360 at the thigh. He can do 90 at the knee, This is where you guys can see it. And he can move his foot up and down, but it is very stiff on my figure. Um, but for articulation, that's about it. Now, he does come with an accessory, which is a swappable gun. So, let's just have him, I don't know. Alright, do so something. as you can see, I have actually changed his hand. Obviously, it is very detailed, um, just to get it in focus properly. You can see how detailed it actually is. It does have, like, little blue lines on it. It probably could be twisted, so it's like that. It's, you know, like that, obviously. It is just for when he's fighting. Uh, but other than that, that's about all the detail that I can show you all. Well, obviously, the gun's not really got any more detail on it. It is just that. I don't think he uses it much in the film. I can't quite remember. I've only seen it once, and it was a good film, but I don't think it is used that much. Now, he does also come So, he with... does actually come with uh, Steppenwolf's axe and Steppenwolf's arm. Now, I don't have any more else of Steppenwolf. I literally have his arm and an axe which the axe I think is very detailed and I am surprised how much paint is on the arm because when I first heard that this is what the actual um, build figure was going to be was going to be Steppenwolf um, which they did keep quite a secret for quite a while when I actually heard it and when I actually saw the first build of it it was grey it had no paint on it hardly and it looked awful but this does look like a quite cool paint colour it looks a lot like Superman's um, outfit you know with the blue and the red um, you know, let me know in the comics if you agree. But other than that, that's about it for, you know, the cyborg figure. He comes with uh, Steppenwolf's axe, and obviously he does have his little 
Um, but that's all I have of Steppenwolf at the moment. Um, obviously, Cyborg does have his his gun. That's the only accessory he comes with. But his detail just makes up for not having the accessory, even though he does look like tin foil smashed together. But I suppose it does. That is a good thing because it makes it look like it's man-made even though it's not it is just evolving I suppose which is the whole point of Cyborg he's constantly evolving and upgrading in the Super, uh, Justice League movie sorry uh, but you know the details fantastic I love the figure and I do thank Amber quite a lot for the figure and um, sadly Cyborg won't be appearing in my Superman film uh, well because he's got nothing to do with Superman and he's just falling over slowly dying oh well He's upgraded, he'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, he's not going to be in it. Um, now, I don't know what my next figure review is going to be. Obviously, you've had Superman, you've had Cyborg. I'm not sure what my next one's going to be, but thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the review, leave a like. Here, of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now, guys. Goodbye.